to fun with your host, Mary Mazur. Learn how your body, mind, and spirit operate and learn how to access a sacred, powerful tool called Psych K to assist you to ignite the wisdom within you to rewrite any limiting beliefs. So please welcome the host of Change Your Funk to Fun, Mary Mazur. Hi, I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We are on episode one today, starting a new series. And this talk today is, it is safe for you to be in your body and feel. Mm. Yeah, so we are going to invite you (laughs) to start asking you some very important key questions within yourself uh, about this. Um, Are you really in your body? Are you really fully feeling to the highest level that you would love to feel here? And what we mean by feeling, allow yourself to feel, is uh, feel your true essence, feel the love of who you are. And wrapped in love is that peace, that joy, uh, the bliss, uh, just amazingness, actually. (laughs) Yeah, completely. And the gift of this is that you actually are already this. We just agreed to forget when we came here on earth. And, uh, and, and so that we can experience in uh, just precious ways here. Uh, many of us here are here uh, learning, growing, expanding, and that's uh, what we're doing. So because of that, we agree to be born in the 20th century. Yes, we did. Most of us listen to this talk today. I'm, I'm guessing you guys were born in the 20th century, unless you're a millennium, and then we welcome you too. <laughs> and we're grateful for you guys. That's for sure. So being born in the 20th century for us uh, just means we came in at a very uh, critical time on this planet, and it was a dark time. There were three major wars during that time across the world. Uh, I guess from what some people have had statistics done that they have said it's been like the, like the most death as far as with wars and things like that. So a lot of loss, a lot of sadness, a lot of grieving, um, a lot of trying, challenging times, hard times, survival times, difficult times, uh, times maybe with the depression of um, the early 1900s uh, too, all of those. So with that, um, <laughs> the invitation here is to be fully in your body and, and let's just, uh, we'll dive into this and and help discover. So what does that mean? You know, what, what does that mean um, being in your body? I thought I'm in my body. This is me, right? <laughs> That's what I'm sure many of you would say, right? I said that too until I huh, learned more about, about myself, about what's really going on and that I actually wasn't even in my body. Now, how interesting is that? And, and I know that would seem like how could that even be possible what that means is that my uh, spiritual aspect of me uh, would rather have be hanging out outside of this human vessel than actually in this human vessel so yes we are this human vessel is you it is you it is all of you and you are even more than just this human vessel and that's what we will be um, inviting in today is to invite that spiritual part of you fully into your body integrating that divine part of you uh, the non-physical part of you uh, into fully this human body to experience in your highest level. There have been many ascended masters that have come on this planet that, that came born into that way. Like Yeshua, he was born where he stayed in the I am presence and then was able to show the way that we are able to be human and completely divine. And and many of us, uh, you know, uh, didn't get that little gifting of being able to come in that way. <laughs> we actually had the exact op- the exact opposite. We completely forgot of who we were. And if uh, you're open to hearing this, that um, there's many beliefs that are many um, awakenings with uh, people with hypnosis and things like that, where they're discovering that, wow, we actually uh, choose our lives. We actually choose like the location we want to live in. We choose uh, the family units. A lot of us will come back in our similar family units, uh, things like that, and have many, some of our friends that we have in the spiritual plane be here with us on earth too. And it's so so that we can um, grow and expand and experience in new ways. So maybe if you believe you might have had another life before or ancestrally, if you just in that beliefs of your ancestry, that you uh, just understand that just know that uh, hmm, one, you're eternal. So that's if you can accept that piece to realize you actually are an eternal divine being here. 
and that we come to earth for a great purpose. Every single one of you is here for a very important purpose. You have an important mission here. You do. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. <laughs> we all got invited, especially in this lifetime. Uh, at a critical time with this ascension happening where uh, each of us are, are waking up and remembering we're dissolving that veil or that, that, that amnesia or that forgetfulness. So with this is what this talk is going to be and what the series will be for these next 12 weeks is to help you elevate yourself in remembering this again. And uh, yeah, we're going to be diving deep and getting real because that's what it takes. And uh, in, in allow yourself, if I can just invite this for you, just allow yourself to be open and curious and just question everything. Even question what I say. See how it feels within you. you know, reconcile to see, hmm, that's interesting. If you can, if you can start allowing yourself to say that each time you hear something, <laughs> it can be a, a window opening for you to begin to become a little bit more open-minded, a little bit more open-hearted, a little bit more curious, because this is the gift. This each one of us that are here, we're, we're here to help. And we're here to, especially ones like myself, that we um, call, we um, got, got the call to come here to earth, especially at this time. And Many of you have too, if you're listening to my thank you. Uh, thank you for um, saying yes to the call. Hmm. Ah, so with this call, we agreed, whether wherever you decided to land here on earth and whatever family dynamics and cultures, that we agreed to be born into a lot of contrast of who we really are. And one of those contrasts is that we were born into that first level of consciousness. And the first level of consciousness is that reproduction survival stage. Okay, It's the part where we don't know if we're going to live or die you know, each moment and that it, we might get quite alerted to uh, thinking it's not safe here or thinking that we always have to be on guard or alerted. And in rightly so, I mean, there's depending on what's happened to you in your life. I know even for mine and I'll share some stories that, yeah, when things happen to you, you're like, well, yeah, but that happened. So if that happened, that means that, yeah, it's not safe here. And we will come to conclusions in our mind and then start really fully putting that armor up and guard ourselves. That's what I did. Um, I was born into a family of 12 and my dad was a lieutenant colonel in the Marine Corps. So I was taught to be a Marine. So I totally had the armor ready to go. And depending on what you were born into or what you had to do. Yeah. And I had seven brothers, so they toughened me up. That's for sure. But um, what that was is that we were born in a time where we were still in the survival consciousness and that, and then we got imprinted uh, within our belief systems at the subconscious level of the mind, then that's what is actually going to start um, creating the life that we live. So we are co-creating from our divine self, our um, light and our love. And then we actually, um, many of us have a big gap of that. And then we forget, agree to forget that and then just come on down here on earth and then start, um, you know, being inundated with what the culture tells you or what society tells you, your parents tell you and things like that. And then what you end up coming up with in your own conclusion within your mind. And based on that, that's actually what's going to be printed out in your life. So what this talk is here to help you with is to start recognizing what are those pieces and, and to um, allow yourself to admit if you have a few of those, because you might if you're listening to this talk. <laughs> so if uh, you are you were born like me into this this survival consciousness or reproductive consciousness. Yeah, my parents definitely did the reproductive one with Hoo -hoo, putting out 12 kids <laughs> and the survival part, that meaning meaning that we have to um, always be on alert, always um, be aware and be willing to fight or flight, you know, or even freeze. Because And then what happens is in our bodies, our bodies have a beautiful chemical mechanism within ourselves with our amygdala uh, and our whole endocrine system that will, will keep us alert and keep us um, aware of any danger that, that could happen to us because it, it, our subconscious mind is here to help us live. You know, it's help us to live and it records all the programs and all the experiences that you um, are having here. And then it helps you also download the interpretations that you make about those decisions, because that's like that's your printout. And then, then you get to go live your life in that way. And I'll be talking about uh, Psych K. It's a, I, I am a Psych K instructor, one of the certified instructors across the world. Uh, and I, I do private sessions and I teach these workshops of helping people make these changes at the subconscious level of the mind, where if you didn't feel like it was safe here uh, or you felt you always had to be on alert and threatened, that you can actually change these mechanisms within you, within your subconscious mind, so that your subconscious then can start responding more from love. 
and more from openness and peace. And then that's where that feeling, letting you feel your full true essence of who you are again, of your love. So, and we definitely will be talking a little bit later or more about Psyche. Uh, but for now, let's just dive into, you know, um, ask yourself, why am I here? That's a big question you can ask yourself. Why am I here? Why am I here on the planet? It isn't just random. Not at all. <laughs> you came here for a reason. <laughs> and it's really great for you to uh, begin to discover that. So I've done this for myself. Absolutely. I actually love it. <laughs> like, hey, why am I here? What is going on? <laughs> why did I choose all these interesting experiences that I've had? that I've gone through some really, really harsh, harsh, difficult ones with um, a bit of, um, yeah, traumas and uh, sexual abuse and to just my dad being um, drinking heavily. So it was very, we never knew how he was going to respond. And, um, and I was, a, and I am a very sensitive being, as I believe many of you guys are too, where we just take it all in and can't even imagine why this stuff is even happening. Uh, any, any abuses or any tragedies or any hardships that we have in, in our lives, the gift here is to begin to start asking yourself um, what what it might be here for you for. And yes, you will go through the feelings and the emotions that you work through um, with any experience that you have. Those are natural parts that we're meant to do. We're just not meant to stay stuck in them. We're not meant to stay there. Some people will. They will land into like resentment or bitterness or just judgment, um, that conditioned love where um, people have to prove their their uh, loyalty or truth and things like that and even you know for your own so this will help soften that a bit um, within yourself if you're willing to um, open up to it and uh, allow when you can start asking these key questions and we're definitely going to be diving into moving from being safe um, to feeling the, the love and the peace that you are and then actually having your world start showing you that that yes you do live in a safe world this is a friendly world um, we are all divine um, love beings here on this planet, believe it or not. Yeah, just some of us really forgot that one. <laughs> That's for sure. And it's going to be on their free will choice to begin to start moving back into um, the love of who they are. All of us are being invited into that right now because we are in the Aquarian age. Yes, we are. It's been 23 years now into it. And what a gift. This is such a precious time to be living in right now and uh, in helping yourself. So with this, uh, some people may call it healing. Healing is a beautiful way to, to express uh, what what like traumas or wounds or um, challenges that you have gone through that you're ready to change um, within yourself. That is the key. And that's what we definitely will be um, honing down in on more about courage and, and having the willingness and being ready and wanting to make the change. That is everything. It's in your free will choice. You're the one that's uh, co-creating your life and you're the one that's going to be... Um, allowing it to be moving in the directions that you would love it for it to go so it's it's if you you get to set your goals you get to set how you want to be how would you what would you love to believe psyche helps you actually embody that at the subconscious level which expedites you to go and then go show yourself how that's true and begin to go live in that new way yes yes so let's help you leap out of um feeling not feeling safe here and if any triggers that you may have with a fight flight or freeze response so with the fight and flight that's a typical response if you feel threatened at all then you will you will tighten up you know you will you know, if you have to punch or you have to do get out or you have to do whatever you do you're gonna do whatever you have to do to help yourself or help your family and then the deeper one is even the freeze whereas when people feel it's not even worth fighting you're just gonna like act like you become invisible or freeze or hunker down that kind of stuff what will also happen is that at the spiritual level is that your spirit may may choose to want to actually leave the body and kind of hover over the body that's what my spirit did uh, up until about maybe about six years ago with a great help with psyche and me uh, clearing out those um, beliefs I had where it was not safe here and it was just too much alertness um, that I um, was finally able to whew, bring this in and uh, and know that we do live, we do live uh, safely here now, and especially now in the Aquarian age, we really are. And and to be wise, be wise about anything you do, where you go, what you're doing, and, and the other key piece is to connect into your um, intuition, connect into the spiritual aspect within you. You have a guiding system within you, an internal GPS system within you. You actually already do. And being able to open up that uh, connection uh, with your higher aspects of yourself helps you stay safe 
and, and well and moving forward and, and being very clear of what you do want instead of focusing on what you don't want. Many people here will be focusing on what they don't want. And when that happens, they will keep recreating those same things of exactly what they don't want. It works just as equal as what you do want. We are that powerful of beings. They call it the placebo and nocebo effect, or it's called that. Uh, so the nocebo is just as powerful as the placebo. So just know you, um, you are the one here that um, can do this. And it's all in your willingness. So would you like to get on board here? <laughs> I, I, I love sailing, so come on my sailboat. <laughs> and I will show you how to um, begin to um, let out your uh, sails. Ah, relax. Trust in yourself. Let yourself shift those programs that you have within you that didn't feel like it was safe here. Uh, forgiveness may be an important gateway to move through. Letting go. And then just uh, remembering again who you really are because you are so powerful because you are love. Love is the most powerful force in this, in this universe. We're going to take a short break. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. And we will come right back and, and help you with transforming um, not feeling safe into your peace. We'll be right back. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy sense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We're starting a new series here of 12 weeks. This is episode one. And then this uh, talk today, it is the invitation that uh, it is safe for you to be in your body and to feel and to feel your love. And this is exactly what we'll be talking um, deep, more, even more deeply with here. So because we were born in a time where it was pretty dark on this planet and uh, it was, people were uh, living from fear and from survival. I know my parents certainly were. And yet, obviously, they are love beings too, just like us. You know, we might have dabbled with, you know, a mix of it. So each one of us are going to have our own stories, our own um, experiences, our own ways. But in general, if you look at people from the 20th century, majority of people, yeah, were born in, in challenging times. So we just call it that. We were born in challenging times. Yes, we were. <laughs> I was actually born in 1968 during the civil rights crisis in America where um, people were standing up for their rights, which was absolutely beautiful. It just went uh, violent. So they were burning down uh, streets and uh, getting very uh, violent. They were in that fighting energy. And I was growing in my mom's belly. And then being a little girl here, I embodied all of that. And that's what we do when we're born here. We embody everything going on in our environment with what our parents are feeling and uh, 
in what the environment is showing us. So ask yourself, what were you, what were you born into? What was going on at the time you came to this planet? Because that will be very important. And then also ask yourself, okay, what was happening with my parents at that time or the caregivers that took care of me at that time? How were they? Because that also does have a big effect. It also has an effect of like how many siblings you have or if you're an only child. And I have 11 siblings, so I had a lot going on with all kinds of personalities and all, all kinds of experiences. Each of us will have our own. Yes, that's for sure. But with that, um, you, you may just, you know, you can even just ask yourself, okay, so how was I? How was I when I was born? You know, was it, was it a very um, safe and loving and carefree and just abundant and um, beautifulness? Or was it a bit challenging, which I think most of us would err side on the, on the challenging part, difficult or even, di yeah, difficult or just hard, could even be hard. Many of us were actually taught that, that things are meant to be hard because it just was hard back in the 20th century. So we had to get out there and do it ourselves, we had to, you know, get working, get working hard, which is a, a great thing to know you can do that. It's just, it was so out of balance. It was more in the masculine energy instead of the masculine and feminine working as a oneness, which is what we're being moved into now. So welcome to the Aquarian age where the feminine is right beside the masculine within you and that the two of them are meant to dance. The feminine is so huge because it brings in that part of you that is open. So we're talking the divine masculine feminine. So the divine feminine part of you is that mother love, the mother earth love, the um, openness and uh, accepting of everything and integrating, uh, synthesizing, connecting. It's the big connector, the heart connector. Yeah. And we actually are heart beings. Yes, we are. Many of us get lost in our minds because of fear, because we don't feel safe. And this is the part that um, we're here to help everyone that's ready to lift out of that, basically to master, master the first level of consciousness, that consciousness level of just of just reproduction and survival, where we're just here, we procreate, we work really hard, and then we just die. Like that happened for thousands of years here. And now we're rectifying that. Like, okay, whoo -hoo. maybe we'll even slow down the reproduction stuff. Maybe just a few kids now and, uh, and experience more instead of just surviving. How about we're doing what we love? And ask yourself that question. Are you are you doing what you love? Do you love what you do? Is it not even work where you just absolutely love it? And uh, it's just, yes, and, and be open to receive uh, the, the abundance that comes with, with sharing your gifts. This is all a new way that we're, we're anchoring in. Many of us didn't have that. I know. I remember seeing, you know, huge bills that my dad's paying and the stress on his face and just how hard and stressful that was. And uh, yeah, those are difficult, difficult times. And I know for myself, being able to um, shift that and, and thank him for what he had to do. That was just the times they were in. And, and then I asked myself, so how do I want it? Well, how about I just have zero bills? That'd, that'd be nice. <laughs> Everything's in auto payment. And then I have so much more coming in that I don't even have to think about money. And what I get to think about now or, or um, envision and, and uh, have my focus in is what would I like to experience here? What would I like to create? What would I like to share? Uh, and, and help and assist and, and have an impact and, 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 and create that ripple effect um, of the good and the positive here. Oh, so each one of you are being called for this too. And that's beautiful. Mm. So to help us with mastering the first level of consciousness, it is helpful to, to get a history, a bit of history of what has happened on this planet that's usually not in many books. We definitely didn't learn it in school. <laughs> but if you would love to go do a little bit more research and there's many beautiful books um, that can help help with this. Um, I love reading books and I love connecting uh, with with um, high energy beings uh, that where I know um, I receive a lot of great information and I also receive a lot um, spiritually uh, and galactically with our uh, ascended masters and uh, archangels and um, our whole angelic realm that we have a great support with. So from what, and I'll at least share what I understand or know and that, that uh, what, what feels right for me. And you can just check in to see if this feels right for you. So at least the history of, of um, Earth is huge. We won't go into like the whole complete history of that. Um, I'll, I'll be um, creating some um, neat uh, offerings and retreats that will we'll do that. But for now, uh, the la we'll just say the last, last big cycle of change that we're in right now. It's been like the last 13,000 years. So um, back in about 12, 13,000 years ago, there was a whole civilization of Lemurians from, from eons of time with, uh, with Earth. There are indigenous cultures, the original um, 
uh, humans beings that love working one with nature and each other and, and working in harmony uh, within themselves and, and within their environment. And this is what we're going to be invited back into in the return, which I'm very excited about. So the Lemurians were definitely more, more water land. They love the water and they love the, um, the spirit world and, and more simplicity and um, connections connectingness. And then there was also another civilization on this planet called the Atlanteans. So the Atlanteans were more about the mind and more about uh, uh, creating things, technologies and creating and building and doing, where the Lemurians were more, and that would be like the masculine energy um, dominance. And then the Lemurians were more of the feminine um, led um, societies, more from the heart centers and more from, um, yeah, living in, in that community sense and that love uh, beingness. So with the Atlanteans, uh, they did uh, actually become quite powerful. And then they had, there were conflicts between the, the Atlanteans and the Lemurians because they're going in completely different ways. And, uh, you know, through time, they did the best they could, but they're there. And there's a whole history, um, more, uh, more details later on now <laughs> of, of the details of stuff. But basically, uh, the Lemurian land uh, got overloaded with water and it, got, it actually all flooded and it all uh, went under, went underground. And, some, you know, many beings um, did die through that process. Many, many got moved off and that's where the, um, thank goodness, the indigenous are still uh, um, holding the beautiful keepers of the earth here and I'm great, we're grateful for them. And then, then the Atlanteans also went down too because they, they had their own um, internal floating and they also went under the waters too. Uh, so with that, it is like biblically people would call the fall. Um, is that, that that's the time when um, when on earth, the earthlings was, was down into that fear. That's, um, you know, because it was scary, right? When there's a lot, huge, huge, huge catastrophes on this earth. So that's where that fear, where people interpreted not feeling safe into fear. So when you don't feel safe, then how do you feel? usually feel for, fearful, right? Because you're like, ooh, what's happening? What's going to happen? Not for that. So the, we've been on the journey back for that to come back up, okay? And we're right here, right? Whoa! To sh shoot right on up for the next thousand years of peace. The Aquarian Age is the, is the thousand years of peace. The last uh, 2,000 years was in the Pisces Age, and that was um, the turn of the century, the um, year 2000 and above is when we, we made that beautiful turn. Before that time in the Pisces Age, kind of funny, water uh, is more of the illusion age or distorted age, uh, yeah, where things are like upside down. So but everything's coming up right now. Everything's coming up to the land and in the light, in the sun. So. Uh, to be seen, so truth, truth to be known, truth to be seen, and that's what we're we're calling in is this second coming. You can call it the biblical second coming right now. Is that we are meant to connect into our divinity and um, help ourselves um, live in the heaven on earth here, bring that heaven and on earth here. So, because of this journey, uh, this this lifetime is very crucial, and uh, we are so grateful each one of you are here because you're each making a massive difference. Um, for all of us. And so thank you, thank you, thank you. So in your own personal lives, yeah, it can be as simple as um, how are you in your relationships? Check in with that with yourself. How are you in relations if you have children? How are those relations going? Um, or spouse or um, deep friendships? How are your friendships going? How are your siblings going or even and parents going? And if there are conflicts in relationships, that's another huge thing that Psyche can help greatly with. Because relationships are just a reflection of how your own relationship is within your own self. And it is time and for many people to stand up and say no and to maybe break off the relationships, um, have clear boundaries, or or to have the crucial conversation so that, that that relationship then can grow in a new way. And uh, in that it is where if you don't feel safe or you feel fearful, or if you're in that fight, flight, trigger, or freeze trigger within you, and many of us will do it at the subconscious level, so we're not even aware we're even doing it. The key here comes in is when you can become more aware. Become more aware of how you're feeling, what your thoughts are, and what's happening around you. If you can just notice, just notice what's going on. And just be, hmm, isn't that interesting, right? And um, the gift is, is when you can start recognizing and, yeah, maybe talking with others that are like-minded too of, of um, you know, let your curiosity fly in. I wonder why this is happening. I wonder what this is happening for. So that you can start um, moving in a new direction. 
So if you're having a difficult time, like maybe some kids in school and college, right, they're um, maybe not doing well in school. Well, there may be a reason. Maybe, maybe you're meant to step back and reflect. Do I really want to finish school? What do I really want to do? What would I love to do? And begin to start doing the things that you really, your heart wants you to do. Well, finding out and discovering what your true gifts are. That's another big one. A lot of us got, because of the first level of, of um, consciousness in survival, is that we didn't even think about that. We just, a lot of times, did whatever our parents did, follow their route, or else um, just did what we were told to do. Like, people say, yes, go definitely do this. Like, get the college degree or, um, or go work where, let's say, take over your parents' business, things like that. Um, and it's okay. Those are all good, great things to do. It's just, do you, did you really want to do it? That's the question. <laughs> do you really like doing it? You know, are you enjoying what you're doing? Ah, that's a great question to ask yourself. Yeah, because we may not be so strong about the um, safety, but it's more of the now bringing in that love part. Because when you lift up from the first level of consciousness and you master that safety piece where you re recognize, no, I'm confident in myself. I, I am creating things. I'm sustainable. I um, am safe. I can be open and uh, trust and you know, share things. And uh, yeah connect really easily and then you'll then you'll move into sometimes a bit of suffering and pain that may actually come your way too that's actually the second level of consciousness and then the gift is is when you can master that then you'll then you'll leap up into your power and your power is when you connect and remember that you are the creator and then you really remember you're the co-creator of your life then everything changes the whole game changes and then it gets a heck of a lot better in the higher levels of consciousness with love feeling and expressing love and interconnectedness, your I am presence. So these are all, this is the dance that we do here um, on this um, planet. So oh, we're going to take another short break. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We're going to dive in a lot more about that topic. We'll be right back. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Welcome back. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We're in episode one of a series of 12. And today's episode is you are safe to be in your body and to feel, feel the love of who you are again. And so we do welcome you into this. We were just talking about ooh, the levels of consciousness and leaping up into those higher levels. And in order to do that, it is, it is vital and important that we do master the lower levels. This is exactly why we were born in the 20th century, is to really help us with this. A lot of it is to help us with our ancestral lineage, to clear that out and clean that. Many of us came in to actually do it all, all for them and for us and for the future, so that we, we get to be in a whole new way again. So thank you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for offering to do this. And it will be that we are going to be changing and, and doing things in completely new ways here. 
So with that, when we talked about the uh, re uh, um, reproductive and survival lowest end and then leaping up into some suffering and pain, those are those challenges. Those are those difficult times. Those are when tragedies happen. And this is right when we can lose someone that we love very um, deeply. Uh, we can, or, you know, catastrophes can happen. Um, and it is, we do live in the unknown. We don't know what's going to happen. The gift here is that you don't have to live in fear about it. And when you can understand that it is purposeful, whatever suffering, pain experience that we go through is very purposeful. And then when you can um, dive in with the gift of Psyche, we actually can work with, with um, people and then you learn how to use this even with yourself of connecting for the reason why is it, why is it there? Why is it showing up? And that's a, a great question to ask. So why? Why am I having this? Why? How might this be helping me? How may it be serving me in some way? And in, if it ends up being chronic where you've had it for a long time, then you'll want to ask those other questions of what am I afraid to lose if I let it go? Because this is a, um, it's important for you to let things go. We don't have to stay in suffering and pain very long at all. The gift is, is that some of us just have, might have had a little bit. Some of them might have had a lot in this lifetime. Some really keep dancing in it in their emotional and mental arenas and even physical arenas. Your body is just a manifestation of your mental, emotional, um, energetic, spiritual body. So it's the physical manifestation of it. So um, if you're having issues and suffering and pains in your body, those are beautiful pieces to take a look at and that you can transform them. I know with Psyche, I have helped people, um, many people that um, from very difficult health conditions back to their health again. And there's other ones, if they're not ready to transform it, then I help, help them with transitioning into the spirit world again, if they're ready to transition. We get that choice. We get the free will choice. There's many of us here that, um, that don't want to be here anymore. And they're checking out. They're going. They've got as far as they could. And we're grateful that they're here. Absolutely. They've done their, they've done their part. They've done it perfectly. And there's many of us that will be here for the long haul. I know I'll be one of them. <laughs> I do plan on being here a long time. And I, many of you will too. As I love seeing all the changes. I love seeing all the, the, the massive, beautiful changes that are coming. Ah, oh, one gift if we can offer to just turn off the TV, turn off the news, start being out in nature, uh, spend more time with people that you love, people that are encouraging to you, that are uplifting for you. That's who you want to be around. If you're around people that are still critical and judging you and harsh, then the, the gift here is to find tools that can help you. That's the answer. Um, how do you help yourself um, move through those survival, fearful, um, not feeling safe here? Um, parts of you that still are running those programs and creating that in your life. And then even any suffering or pain experiences, what can you do to help yourself? And it's, it's, it's gathering tools, helping yourself go learn how you can go um, be in a new way. And Psyche is a huge one for that. Um, we do offer uh, workshops that you get to use this for yourself. Coming out of the workshop, you'll be able to help yourself from here on out. And that's what I did. I used to, I've used it every day since I've had it. It's been 13 years. And I'm so grateful. Even as simple as just little things that are bothering me or triggering me or annoying me, I can transmute that within minutes back into my peace and non-attachment in a broader view of, oh, maybe why, why it showed up for me, that it's actually here for me. And that I can, maybe I'm growing more in compassion, more into just deep, deep, unconditional love for wherever anybody else is right now, um, regardless of how they're acting or what they're doing. So... Yes, we invite you to grab some tools, get some tools. Um, just like I just came back from Alaska. I had a wonderful retreat there with a, a beautiful friend of mine. And uh, she has a dear friend that he, um, because they snow, like it, it snows like feet of snow there, like huge amounts. And that um, he, he, the gentleman says, no, he doesn't even have a snowblower. Why would you do that? He's got this big, huge machine, this cat. Thing that he just drives and he actually loves it it's actually fun he rides on top of it and it just shovels it all big old big old um like a big huge shovel movement track well that's it he got smart right he knows his situation that he's in he lives in a climate that has a lot of snow so it'd be really wise to get some really great equipment to handle the snow that's the same with us in our lives if you're having big things happen with you or you've had them when you were younger growing up and stuff then start grabbing some really powerful tools. Um, Psyche is one of the most powerful tools on this planet right now. It's easy and it's effective. And uh, yeah, it's just a matter of, of choosing. All it takes is a courage. It's just a courage and a willingness to say, um, and having that bravery. So the big piece is first start with admitting it, admitting that, hey, yeah, I got some cleanup I want. I need to do within myself or I want to make changes outside in my life or where I'm going or what I'm doing. 
that, um, yeah, admitting that, yeah, I, I, I'm ready to, to make some changes. Then you get to step into uh, with that of, wow, how can I do this? What, what can help me so I can do this in, in the most effective or easiest way? So, and there are many tools. Psyche is just one, one tool. And it's a beautiful complement for any other tools that you find or do. Many people do many other tools and then find Psyche, which is really fun. And then maybe they'll adapt and, and um, integrate other ones too. So we're meant to bring things together. And you'll find whatever works for you. Many people, people are working with like breath work and sound healing. I help some people with that too. And there's even plant medicines and, um, and even like the traditional therapies, people can at least start expressing, at least they're admitting what's going on. So they, they're at the first step, which is really great. <laughs> the key comes in now, let's go make the change. And that's where there's more powerful tools like Psyche that actually you, when you make the change at the subconscious level of the mind, that the change happens. And you're like, what? I'm actually more relaxed now. I actually feel safe now. Yeah, I actually can feel. I can actually feel the love energy that I am. That which means I'm. I feel open. I feel expansive. Um, I feel um, in the wonder. And uh, yeah, these are the things that we are inviting for you to be able to do. And it will be necessary to make changes in your life. Like um, yeah, maybe it is relationship shift changes or career shift changes. Uh, allow yourself to have it um, be as, um, I guess, comfortable or as easy as, you, as it can be possible if you have the right equipment. <laughs> so another, another example, if this is helpful for you, is like, like if I here, I live in Michigan in, in the United States. It's still in the north, but it's Michigan. But to get to Alaska, if I wanted to walk there, it would take me a really, really long time, probably months and months and months, right? I would, could imagine. I can imagine all the stuff that would have to do that. Or even driving a car. That would really still take many, many days and many, many um, pieces. And then eventually, yeah, sure, it, you could um, actually do that. But it's a lot involved. But no, I just flew. So I just jumped on two planes and it got me there like within a very short time, like six hours. And I'm like, this is really nice. This is similar to what Psyche helps you with. It can be as simple as that. It lifts you up. The airplane helped lift me up above any of those more slower, harder, more difficult ways of still achieving my goals. It helped me lift it up, rise up, see the whole view of it, and then help me to easily um, connect in and, and get you there. And how beautiful is that, right? When you can, um, yeah, you can offer this stuff, stuff for you. So, so with that, um, check in again with yourself about like, do you, uh, you know, how, how, what level you can even offer yourself? What level do I think I'm at from like zero to 10 where zero means no, I am in da dire danger, threat, scared out of my wits, horrendous stuff. Cause you'll do different things depending on what level you're at versus the highest level, like say 10, where you know, you are completely safe. You're the uh, completely powerful to transform anything or change anything or help assist you with anything so that you, you get to um, flow in life. You get to um, connect even in, with the spiritual realms and, uh, and bring them into here and, and be in that fun and playful, innocent love. So depending where you are, if you're kind of midway in or certain spots, and it might be just certain parts in your life of where you are. Maybe where you're living could be one, or maybe the relationships you're in could be bringing stuff up or, or your job or your workplace. Hone in onto where those are. Hone in onto um, the pieces where you don't feel very safe because they're actually here for you. Yeah, it's just the contrast. You chose to experience the contrast of the love of who you are. So when you can actually look in the face of that fear, which is pretty amazing, bring it up, draw it up. And uh, if you don't know Psyche yet, then you can even just speak at it. You can speak with it. You can do some um, writing, do some um, even just um, automatic writing coming in for you, asking some key questions, asking yourself, okay, so if you're here, what might the, be this here for me for? How, how could it be helping me in some way or serving in some way? Even if it's not helping, but it is serving in some way. It's creating some other chain reactions of things. Okay. How could it be offering you something? And the gift comes in is when you can connect anything so that you can turn anything into good, it's like the game has changed. <laughs> yeah, your world will begin to change. And you within your own body will begin to feel so much better. You will flow. So you'll feel, wow, um, life is good. Like I live on heaven and earth. Yeah. And you actually, heaven is already here. There already is, earth already is heaven. 
is such a beautiful planet. It is so gorgeous. It's just us connecting into that. And how you do that is by connecting it within yourself, in your heart center. Yes. That is a huge piece. And begin to allow your heart to lead you more than your mind. Our mind was important at the first two levels of consciousness with survival and suffering and pain. Totally. It had to um, step right in and do for immediate um, survival mechanism uh, responses. But most of us are not living in those harsh, harsh, harsh survival circumstances. But yet we still are running those programs. And that's what the gift of psychic can help you um, transmute that or any other tool that you find. Find a tool. That's the key is find a tool for you that um, can help you so that you can um, allow yourself to elevate your level of consciousness, which helps you uh, awaken, uh, be more aware of things so that you can see the whole picture of things, what's all going on, even potential realm stuff, like what could happen in the future, what are the potential timelines that you'd like to step into. And you get to um, you know, still think logically and creatively here and then put in what you do want. How would you like it to be? Begin to speak it in. Begin to vibrate and feel it in. Feel that end result before it actually even comes. These are, these are just simple, simple ways for you to begin to vibrate in your love instead of in fear or not feeling safe so that you get to leap up into your power and then feeling love and expressing love, which is the higher energy fields. And we're all being called into this now. Yes, we are. We're going to take another short break. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network, and this is Change Your Funk to Fun. We'll be right back. What if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern, on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy sense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back. I'm Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We're on the last little bit here of this talk that, yes, it is safe for you to be in your body and to feel, feel the love of who you are and your expansiveness. Oh, it so is. It so is. And a key piece will be for you to um, check in with yourself and check in and say, hey, am I really in my body? Am I feeling um, each each uh, experience that I have? Do I allow myself to open up that, that doorway to actually be able to let myself feel? Many of us have actually closed off our feelings to, to protect ourselves too. And it was just a form of, yeah, I mean, I don't, don't know about you, but for me, my dad said, you cry, I'll give you something to cry about, right? So I closed those up. And even for my own self, I'm still um, growing and learning how to let myself cry more easily, let myself feel those difficult um sad times or, or challenging times to let my body actually feel it. That's the gift of being this human being, this human vessel, is you get to feel. You have the sensory capability to feel. All feelings are is just energy emotion. And so, uh, yeah. 
Check in with yourself. How am I feeling? How are things going? It might be funky. That's why we call this change your funk to fun. Because if it's a bit funky, it's okay. Because this means there's a lot of changes happening. You might not have settled down into, into your centeredness or your stillness yet. And there's many things you can do to help yourself with that. And meditation is great. I call it connection. Um, using just slower, deeper breaths. That's another beautiful one. And, and uh, allowing yourself. So if you can slow down a little bit, that's a big one. Many of us are going, 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 or doing, or working, or going, and working so hard because that's based on that, that first level of survival triggers or uh, beliefs that might still be run at the subconscious level. It would be great when you can transform those so that you can slow down and begin to flow and move in a more um, healthy way, a more open way. Uh, within yourself and that will also invite you to um, yeah let yourself check in with how you're feeling every feeling is important so going from fear fear is, is a denser contraction even below fear is is uh, shame and uh, guilt and apathy and worry but you get to lift up you get to um, lift up out of that fear into and it's okay to move through anger that's that time when we're in that fighter mode so maybe instead of just running away you know your sense of you might want to fight you know, and um, help, you know, help yourself, protect yourself with that. The gift is you get to move through that up into courage. When you can move through courage and willingness, then that lifts you up into your, um, your acceptance and love and um, essence of who you are with the peace and the joy and the bliss. So we welcome you for this. Begin to start exploring how are you feeling? How are you feeling in your body? Be real. Be really real. And if you're ready for the changes, we highly recommend that you come and learn more about Psyche. Hey, so uh, if you would love to reach out to me, I do offer private sessions and I, and I, help, I love helping people and uh, I love seeing the changes that happen with them because they actually change and their lives change. You can go to my website, igniteandhealyourlife.com, igniteandhealyourlife.com, and that's ignite and heal your life.com you can click on a contact button to contact me um, i am having upcoming workshops so um, if you live near the berkeley california area in the end of october or if you'd like to fly there it's a beautiful area <laughs> october 27th weekend i'm teaching a three-day in-person basic psyche workshop where you get to learn you'll learn two tools two ways to change a belief at the subconscious level of the mind so that you literally can lift out of that survival or suffering pain denser uh lower levels of consciousness that our, our subconscious might have gotten programmed in up into your power and up into feeling and, and expressing your love and sharing your gifts and it's one of the most magnificent ways for you to transform that and in november i'll be teaching in louisville kentucky november 10th to the 12th so we welcome you there and then anyone who would love to learn online you can learn it from the comforts of your home yes you can so check my website for that um november i'm offering november 17th that weekend just before thanksgiving so that way you can have an even better time with family than maybe you know if you have an interesting uncle or cousin or aunt or someone that might trigger you in those times that how about hey how about you have a new perception we call it a um, whole brain state where you actually get to be in a new way and you get to um enjoy your own self feel the love of who you are Allow yourself to be fully in this body, to fully live as a human being here, a divine human being, and allow yourself to continue to expand and grow and change. This is what we're all being called to do. We invite you to do it. Uh, everything's happening. There's like a solar eclipse coming and a lunar eclipse um, this month too. Um, everything is in your favor. Everything is here for you. Uh, it's up to you to decide that and to say, yes, I am ready to make some changes or I am ready to just step into my new way. Maybe it's just wanting to step into a new way, new way. Maybe you know you actually do have some special gifts you're meant to share with the world and offer and let that start, um, that passion, that ignite, igniting that out within you. So you can go uh, live your moment, ma ma most magnificent life and way and that you get to receive an experience. Yes, we are here to help be great purpose and to share our gifts and to serve and to help assist in this ascension time. And we are meant to simply experience. We're meant to simply enjoy being, enjoy all the little precious times. Allow yourself to have more time in nature uh, and do just simple things, little things. Allow yourself to laugh. Ask yourself, how often have you laughed, right? Let yourself giggle. Let yourself laugh. Let yourself see, wow, give yourself a pat on the shoulder and say, yes, you know what? I've done a great job. I, um, I've done the best I could. That's all we ever do is the best that we can. 
ah, know that you are, oh, that it is safe here for you and that you are, you are actually carried. You're actually held by the whole universe of love and held in such great love and magnificence. And it is in your free will choice of what you would love to experience, what you would love to choose to begin doing in a new way. We are all being called into the light here, living as a human vessel here, to literally unite the, the spiritual way, the divine way, with the living human way here. It's absolutely magnificent, the time that we're in. And uh, it's, it's uh, on our timing. So I say, Tag, you're it. <laughs> you go do it too. I know I'm already doing it. Come along. We have a whole crew. We have a whole amazing spiritual families and teams that are all uniting. And actually, when you come to the workshops, you tend to find your spiritual family. And that's what happened with me. And I'm like, thank you. And I keep finding more and more. There's so many of us on this planet. We're all planted all over this world. And uh, we are here. We're here meant to do great, fantastic, amazing things. Oh, it's such a joy that you came for this time to listen. May you now put it into practice. Do something about it. Whether you want to sign up for a workshop, have a private session with me, or just go begin to be in a new way. Go begin to let you be fully in your body and to feel the love of who you are and share that love with yourself and with others. This has been such a great time connecting with you now. Oh, we'll take a nice, nice cleansing breath here and give, give great thanks and gratitude. Mm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> so I am Mary Mazer. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. You have a beautiful day. Oh. This has been Change Your Funk to Fun with host Mary Mazer. Tune in each week and ignite the courage within you to take meaningful changes in your life and allow the fun, joy, and love in your life to awaken. Wednesdays, 3 p.m. here on the Bold Brave TV Network.